and your commentators are Bill Laurie and Tony Gregg. Well, it's a good shot, beautifully played. Over pitched on leg stump again, and that really is into the slot. No problems there for Slater. He's uh, really got rid of that one nicely off the meat of the bat down to the mid wicket boundary. Tommy pulls him away. Didn't quite time that. Sewer drops him short. Two more to Slater. Expensive over. And Australia taking control in the early stages of this first test match. So in 1855, Van Diemen's Land officially renamed Tasmania on this day in that year. Great stuff, Michael Slater. Ten runs off the over. Whispering start by the Australian pair. No wicket for 31. Simon Dool to relieve him from the river end. Right arm, medium fast, just a medium pacer. Looking straight down through mid off. Not quite off the meat of the bat, but fast outfield. Running towards the boundary. They should run for. Four all run. Good crowd in for the first day. Slater in top touch, had to bring up his 50. He's on 40 70. He punches it through mid wicket. This should go all the way. Six fours, a fine innings, and a very positive start by Australia in the second test match. This has been a good 50. It's been very positive. Six fours. Mainly drives through the offside and onside and straight. Well played. Got him short. He's pulled it away for four. Wonderful exhibition here for Michael Slater. Anything short or four, he's punched away. That's his seventh bound. Morrison again with just two slips and a very square gully. Good shot. Do the covers. One's running away down towards the boundary. That section of the outfield very fast, actually. Will it get there? Not quite. So they'll run three. That brings up their 50 partnership. One for 146, Australia. Just got that away between bowler and the rather wide mid-on. That's uh, good running. They are applying the pressure on the New Zealand bowlers and fieldsmen as Deepak Patel is introduced once again into the attack from the river end. Straight down the ground, diving effort, no luck at all. That's four more. Slater prepared to come at Deepak Patel. Good tactics, new bowler on, straight to him, four runs. They're asking the question here. They're saying onto the boot, catch. That's the question. Umpire Bill Shin in his first test match, the close to the wicket fields and the saying that ball went onto his boot and then went to the man at Silly Point. We'll have a good look at that. Well, interesting. Oh, shot. Perfect cover drive, some width. Patel prepared to throw it up. Slater equals the challenge. Nine boundaries to Michael Slater at Bell Reeve. Well, good shot. That's Slater blazing away. It's running away down towards the boundary. Will it get there? Not quite. It'll be dragged back. And so they'll settle for three. The big question is, will it be crossing his mind? We'll be saving one here. This is the last ball of the over. We want one, and Boots down, he'll be run out here. No, he won't. Oh, he's, he's got back. What an unbelievable mix-up. Slater desperate to get off 99, and he should really have been gone there. As it turned out, he got back in time. The throw was bad. Slater should have been gone. Run out 99. Gone for all money. David Boone slipped. Nothing could be done about it. Slater was very quick to get back. It's at this moment that Slater sees Boone slip and he goes back straight away. Good throw. Gone for all money. One for 202. Slater on 99. They're all saving one. This is Patel. That's well played. That's his 100. 
to come back for the second. Michael Slater, that's his second Test 100, his first in Australia, and his first against New Zealand. We hit that one right across the line and over the top. He's going to score the second 200 a lot quicker than the first 200 if he does it. Chris Harris, the medium pace bowler, operating for the first time. Hot, blustery conditions at Bell Reeve. Hammer through the covers. That's a good start for Slater after the break. Running down the hill, will go all the way for four. And good afternoon, Ian Shuffle. Good afternoon, Bill. And that uh, bringing up the 150 run partnership between Michael Slater and David Boone. One for 219. Harris to continue. Late cut. Beautifully played. No third man. Slater playing all the shots here this afternoon. Slater may come back on the arm. He yes, he does. It mix up. But they're safely through because the throw was poor. Four more than Michael Slater. Michael Slater just got rid of his uh, helmet. through cover, driving on the half volley again, racing down towards the boundary, that's four more, so Michael Slater going on straight after the tee break, really playing all the shots in great fashion, exciting stuff. Two test hundreds, only eight matches for Slater, plus a 99, this time he goes through mid-wicket, tremendous stuff, murdering Harris. He's hit a lot of uh, shots through that gap today. He's picked that uh, gap between mid-on and mid-wicket uh, very well today. Another change by New Zealand captain Ken Rutherford. Drone coming back into the attack. Oh, that's through again. They haven't made one hard save, New Zealand. Everyone that's been a bit difficult got through the field, and that's brings up a record stand between David Boone and Michael Slater. In the air, and that's safe. Wide of mid-off, and straight down the ground. Three more to Michael Slater. Michael Slater on strike to Deepak Patel. Full shot. Going all the way for four. So I tell again, Slater. And that's a good shot. Straight down the ground, over the top, nearly takes a seagull on its way through. And that brings up his 150. So Slater down the wicket there, blasted that one back over the umpire's head. What a good shot that was. Yes, it's certainly a nice way to bring up that 150 as well, and it just typifies what we've been talking about, that the batsman who can get down the wicket, use his feet, get to the pitch of the ball, on this occasion to loft it, but over the bowler's head is showing that, that the player is playing with a tremendous amount of confidence. It's very well played. There he goes again, and that's his highest test score. Into the fence it goes. It seems to me that Slater has certainly got the message from the Australian cricket team management. One for 277. A good crowd has come into the ground today to watch this first day of the test match here in Tasmania. That's a special area here at Bell Reeve. They all love sitting on that area down the hill there. Always oh, played that one magnificently. That really was a beautiful square drive. It was a pretty well pitched up delivery and it looked to me as if he played it almost inside out. Waited for the last minute, really caressed it through cover point. And uh, Slater very nearly pinned there. I think uh, that one might have slipped a little bit. Might have been uh, an attempted Yorker. a good bouncer and uh, Boone did well to get out of the way of it. It's 
pretty well bowled. Slater's got away with a single there, but that was uh, another good bouncer from Danny Morrison. 235, the partnership. And Australia scoring 300 on the first day. Shouts of catch it, and that's been done at point. So Deepak Patel with the ball that drifts away from Slater. Just beat him through the air. Caught a thick outside edge. And uh, Danny Morrison, the man who takes the catch. Michael Slater out after scoring his second test century. It's good effort, nice delivery. Patel's coming round the wicket now. It's drifted away from Slater and beaten him in the air. And a good catch, low down and coming at sharp speed. A very good effort. Michael Slater. Put by Morrison or Patel for 168.